I hope you're hungry. Yeah, absolutely. Well, she already ate. What up? It's your boy coming in clutch with another video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I got so many requests from my aunt about actually making a salsa video that made sense. So check it out. This salsa recipe is actually going to be pretty easy compared to the last one. We've got five Roma tomatoes, just like a, a little bit of cilantro, like about that much. That one's hard to do. Uh, you're going to use about two tablespoons of lime juice, three avocados, and a whole onion, and then one full jalapeno as well. And that's all you're gonna need. My beautiful wife just pointed out to me that this is one and a half avocados, not three, but three halves. So this jalapeno is extremely spicy, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seeds and the veins. Okay, so you're gonna take your five tomatoes. Oh, by the way, hi. That was for you, my aunts. You're gonna take your five tomatoes, you're gonna put your heat at like a little past middle. And now, avocado, you will die. <laughs> Let's get some ASMR sizzling. Look at this. So I also threw a little bit of a jalapeno in there just for poops and giggles. I usually, when I burn a jalapeno, I only do just a very small amount of it. So we're gonna go ahead and call that good. All right, so taking a look at our tomatoes here. They're pretty well burnt on one side. What you're gonna go ahead and want is that on each side. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the blender. Got my cilantro. You might be wondering what do you do with cilantro? You just take the stems like this, you rip them off, and you throw the rest in here. And that was about this much cilantro, a little bit more than that. Rest of our tomatoes into the blender. They're pretty well burnt. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our onions as well. Keep some out if you wanted some to be chunky. It was a small onion too, about like the size of a baseball. Hey. Go ahead and move some stuff downwards. Okay, notice we have not added the avocado yet. We'll do that at the end. Check this out. Pretty good looking salsa if you ask me. So we're gonna go ahead and use one tablespoon. And then after a tablespoon, you can add lime juice to your delight. Some people like more, some people like less. I think this is literally the perfect amount right there. You can see how much went on. We're gonna go ahead and just Add the avocado. You can slice it up beforehand if you want. Start turning that butter all entirely too early in the morning. The last thing to add is salt. Now salt's hard because you do salt to taste. And I like it a little bit saltier, so I'm gonna show you what I do. So pretty heavily, that was one coating, two coatings, three coatings, four coatings, five. That's pretty typical. And then I also take some garlic salt, and I'm gonna do three coatings with garlic salt. So one, two, three, and a little extra. I might end up adding more, I might end up taking some out. You never know. You just never know. No, I know, it's just you never know. And the last step, of course, is to enjoy. Mmm, this thing is really good. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want, if you don't, I don't care. Actually, I do, but you know, reverse psychiatry, bon voyage, and bon appetit.